I'm live. Hello everyone. Um, so today I'm going to interview Rita Neville. So I'm going to uh, try and get her to come live with me. There she is. I can't hear you. Let's see. I think. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you now. Yay. How are you doing? I'm good. This is my first Instagram live. <laughs> the first for everything. It feels like my first every time I do it. Really? Because I have no idea how it works. So I'm like, oh my God, it worked. It's amazing. 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 So, um, so we're going to be talking about you and, um, how you open the door to freedom. So would you give me a little bit of a backstory about like, for how long have you been acting and what has happened before being able to open the door to freedom inside of you? Instrument? Well, I've been acting for quite a long time. Um, I started acting right after college mm -hmm. and I worked in Chicago for a while and then I ended up getting my master's um, at UNC Chapel Hill, worked in New York most of my life mm -hmm. and then 2018, 19, I came out to LA. Okay. Um, and of course, we all know what's happened in the last bunch of years and I just, I just found myself being really burnt out mm -hmm. uh, and it was a big tr transition for me um i mean it's like moving moving to la i think f for anyone is is a big transition but also you know after having been in the business for so long it's like starting new again you know um it really i think got me started looking at myself from the outside because so much of it is of course television and film focused yeah yeah. Most of my career has been in the theater. Okay. Yeah. And so um, you felt burnt out. Um, how did you try to take care of that? What were the things you started doing to take care of yourself before deciding to reset? Well, one of the things I did was I started writing, mm -hmm. which is a lot of personal power. I, I um, made a film and I have a bunch of scripts that are, you know, in various stages of development. Mm -hmm. really empowering but it still wasn't acting mm -hmm. um, and so there was that I would I would often find myself in classes which mm -hmm. were sometimes satisfying I definitely made a lot of wonderful friends mm -hmm. um, but I never really found the community that I was really hoping for I, mm -hmm. um, and I definitely fell into this sort of pattern of well, today's the day that I've got my scene to do, so I better get it together and do something. And it, everything felt like an obligation. Wow, I totally hear what you're saying, and I've never heard it said so clearly, and it sums up a lot of what an actor is going through in terms of process and going to acting class. And, and, and considering you've been around the block, I think it's really, um, really interesting to under underline that like oh today is the day i have my scene so i have to get my shit together gotta get it together and i have to get myself emotionally together yeah or untogether however that may turn out yeah yeah so how how is that experience of doing it horrible. that way horrible i mean it and i think i think i started to develop this sort of, like I said before, this outside in, like, well, I've got to make it look a certain way. These were, of course, I'm in LA, so I don't really know anyone. So I've got that added pressure of, I don't want to be that horrible person in class that <laughs> nobody wants to work with. I like, I want to make friends. Exactly. Um, yeah. So it just, um, it wasn't doing anything for me and it made me um, not enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I, I was wondering why I was doing this. Like, why am I doing this? Why am I still? Yeah. I often, I often actually challenge actors and ask, not that I have any say on what people do and choose where to go to do the, you know, 
you know, go train. But I often will ask, like, why are you going? Are you going for community? Are you going to get some sort of fulfillment about, I have a scene and I'm acting and I'm an actor. Are you going to be liked? Are you going to get your ego checked? Like, what are, what are you doing there that actually has to do with the root of what an artist really is? Like, what, yeah. Are you going for that root or are you going for all the peripheral stuff? Yeah, I, I, I definitely don't think it was to fulfill my artist. No, you know, and I, I also think there's also that fear of, well, I've got to be in practice in case I get that audition. Because when that happens, then I'm going to be 100%. Yeah. yeah, it's a good girl. I got to be a good girl <laughs> and do what you're told, which is to go train. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah, no fulfillment, pressure, horrible. And then it doesn't, it actually doesn't move the needle in terms of, yeah, how, how free can I show up? Right. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So is that when, when do you, do you, do you get to a, a certain intensity of that before you decide to reset or what happens for you to actually go, well, wait, wait, wait a minute. This doesn't work. I need to, I need to change I, something. I was really having some honest conversations with myself, which is I'm not enjoying this anymore. Mm -hmm. I know that I still love doing it. Mm -hmm but I'm not enjoying this and why am I, and, and I don't mean this in any egotistical way anymore at all, but like, why am I in a class where I feel like I know more than every single person around me? Like, I don't need to learn. But there's nothing more to there's know. There's nothing more, yeah. more to know. I mean, like what, I mean, like suddenly learn some technique that is, yeah. wow, it's, I've got it. I've, you know, I'm oh, a superstar. Oh. <laughs> It doesn't work like that. And I know it didn't work like that. And, mm -hmm. and I made a commitment earlier in the year to sort of wean myself off. And every time I did, I was like, oh, but, but I, I like the people and I, mm -hmm. I like the practice, mm -hmm. even if I felt the class was unsatisfying. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why am I spending this time and money? Mm -hmm. I could be do doing a film. Yeah, I. I definitely hear you and it, you know what I'm hearing when I'm listening to your words is I'm also hearing symptoms of addiction. Ah, oh, oh my God. <laughs> right. Yeah. For anyone, anyone going a place or going to substance that we don't know why we're doing it and it doesn't get me what I'm there for, but, but I, but I like doing it. Yeah. But it doesn't make me feel better. But yeah, but but uh, but I like the people in the and I I go yeah. But it doesn't do what you need. Yeah, right. So which we can do with watching Netflix, buying stuff, eating stuff, drinking stuff, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I do think community is extremely important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. So so you realize that, and then. Keep us on your story. Um, so I realized that, and I actually spent the the summer in Paris, mm -hmm. and I knew I was going to take that time for myself to sort of reflect, do some writing. Mm -hmm. um, I have an artistic community out there. I thought we'd make a film or you know just like some something on our iPhones or something fun, and then I I found the reset, and I immediately signed up right away, and I thought, oh no are you doing the class thing again? Mm -hmm. And I waited a couple of weeks because of travel situations. And as soon as I, I got to Paris, I started and I realized, I mean, I realized really quickly this was different. Mm -hmm. And I think, and I'm going to get emotional about it. Mm -hmm. I think the thing that was so important was that you said, I'm not here to teach you. Yeah. you know, like, no one's going to tell you what you are, who you are, how you should feel. And I think that's so important for actors. And we're always being told what to do, what to think, what to feel, how to look, what's your brand. Is. I mean, like, it's just ad nauseum, you know. I have to do it right. Yeah. yeah. So, so then, then I started and went for a roller coaster ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, roller coaster. For your 
presence and clarity because you know every word is landing and i also have chills and tears so it's really beautiful to listen to you and to see you to witness you so clear it's great yeah so the roller coaster was a lot of ahas and a lot of oh no <laughs> oh yeah there I mean, there were some moments where I'm like, I don't think I can, I really don't think I can do this. Mm -hmm. And I think I can do anything. I'm that person who's like, I'm going to get it done. And I can, yeah. get it done, you know, and, and it, you just, it was such a different experience because I know how to make something happen. Mm -hmm. and that's out of will, you know, like, mm -hmm. this is going to be a hard thing. I'm going to do it. And, you know, if I could translate that into acting terms, it doesn't work because you're telling yourself to do something and you might, that, that, that seed inside of you might be like, no, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and there was something about the way the reset was set up that I, I, I felt myself slowly getting sort of like sucked into this, this zone of possibility this zone of fascination despite my fear despite the horror um I, I mean i made some personal discoveries as well mm. i feel like that really intense daily practice within i would say a week i was already a different person i mean i used to be afraid <laughs> I can't even believe I'm on Instagram live because I, if you ever see my Instagram page, I think I have one picture of myself and I'm in the background. <laughs> like, it's just, this isn't something I do, you know, and just sharing myself over the group was a big deal. And within a week that none of that mattered no. because what you're doing is so interesting. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. It is. It's, it is amazing. It's, it's, to listen to you actually i love yeah again your clarity and your eloquence about it is like i want to do that well oh i'm i am doing that <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so a roller coaster and so um then you've you finish resetting and like what's the experience then when you reset so i reset and then I had another week of being in Paris and now I'm back in LA. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's really interesting because I'm, I'm still doing a daily practice. I'm still part of the community. Mm -hmm. um, I have not had any auditions yet and I can't wait for an opportunity. I, I mean, I'm so excited for that. But what I'm really noticing is how differently I'm showing up in my life. Like I'm, I'm stepping in as a, a stepmom in a way that, I mean, they're adults, so it's not like it's like little kid stuff, but like complex emotional discussions, um, helping them through things, just voicing my opinion when, you know, strongly, you know, so I, I feel like, and my husband has definitely noticed, you know, in a positive way, but it feels really good. Like I feel, this sounds ridiculous, but I feel really inside of myself. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is ridiculous? That it does sound ridiculous. Yeah. Because how many it, times do we feel on top of something or yeah. under something? Well, because you're born, I always say like, you're born like this incredible, free, instinctive, truthful being. And then your conditioning goes, no, 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 no. You're shut up and feel what you're told and think what you're told and behave like you're told and learn what you're told. So you're not allowed to be yourself. You're, you're asked to behave with a mask, mm -hmm. completely tied up into what other people tell you and want from you. So yes, you're outside of yourself. You're in pleasing, in doing it right, in being good and staying safe so that they give you the love and the validation. So when you reset, what happens is you go back to this and so, oh, ah, oh, I can be in my body again. I can feel my feelings. I can have my thoughts. Mm -hmm. I can feel how I want to behave. I can hear my impulses. Yes. Hear. Yeah. Yeah. I, in my daily practice, I, I'm working with material and 
it's amazing to me what access I have to my emotions now, mm. to the full range of emotions. I've been surprising myself when I'm working on on some, I'm working on a couple of monologues right now. And, you know, I, I, I did one the other day and I was like, that's beautiful. I mean, I really looked at it after because I was recording it and I was like that that is that's magnificent that's amazing right? and to be able to feel that about your own work so yeah powerful yeah and there's no bragging or you're not even thinking if in terms of outcome right because you no. just were there I also even encourage actors to decide when they're in the take rather than looking at it because you know if you've been open mm -hmm. if here if you were present and there's not even a need to look at it because if you were completely there you were completely there and that's it yeah well, that's so cool that's so cool i'm so glad for you thank you mm -hmm. thank you i mean it's it's um it's life-changing it is yeah, it's life. It's it's go. It's resetting. It's going back to who you were meant to be, how you were yeah. born, and way. It's giving you what was taken away, yeah. and I'm not giving it. I can't teach it. I, there's no technique. There's no method mm -hmm. reminding you what the path to your heart and soul is. That's all I do. Wow. Well, I'm so glad our paths crossed. Me too. Super happy. Yeah, that's great. And we're neighbors if you're in LA. Yes. That's great. That's great. Okay. Um, well, I'll say to close, if you feel complete, do you feel complete? I, I feel complete. And I, in so many ways, I feel like I'm just at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Because it's going to be new every single day. If you're really yeah. present, it's new yeah. every day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I want to say for anyone who's watching, because we have these interviews, because the reset is different. It's not your traditional acting class, or it's not even a class. It's a journey back into yourself. So there's no teaching. There's no learning. There's, there's none of that. There's no technique. There's no method. But so I want to always invite people when they watch these interviews to actually um, kind of see see if that if something resonates if something opens inside if it if it makes sense if it lands um and if you have curiosity about that or you can relate to the experience to let us know to send us a dm so that we can send you more information about what we do um so thank you thank so you. much you thank you for inviting me and if anyone listening this speaks to you i would absolutely check it out yeah well, thank you so much for sharing your truth. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Bye. Bye.